All right, it's another day, and I'm back on the head of the horse. I'll be right back. Time to play with some play. All right, I'm going to start the eye. But I'll be back uh, after a while because I pretty much show how to do this on my instructional video on creating a horse's head and a, down the ridge line and a couple other videos. I think one other video maybe uh, that I have on my instructional videos. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, just putting the finishing touches on the eye. Once I got this done. And I'm going to start the uh, other side of the horse's face. Okay. I'm always trying to find the correlation between animal anatomy and human anatomy. And uh, it's amazing when you get into doing stuff uh, like this that you realize that uh, the face of a human has the same muscles that the uh, horse has. This, These two muscles here are like these two muscles here. And uh, I tell you, I find the correlation between muscles in the body, the shoulder, the hips, the legs, everything, all similar, just different shapes because of the uh, shape of the uh, animal skull and uh, all that stuff. And what that indicates to me is uh, that there's one designer, one creator. And uh, I don't mean to get religious here, but you can't help but realize that there must have been a universal design to all creatures, human and animal. And... Uh, that's just a testimony of uh, the fact that there is a God. This muscle here is similar to that muscle. Okay, I'm just uh, putting the finishing touches on the face. I've got the nose detailing he had to do. But uh, this is all turning out pretty good. Oh, i got to get the camera on it. I move the camera and I just uh, don't don't actually realize I've got the horse's head out of frame. The horse's face is so detailed, I mean so intricate in its uh, beauty. It just Amazing. It's just probably one of the most beautiful creatures on earth in grace and uh, power. 
Okay, I'm just finalizing the eye here. Attempting to, anyway. trying to decide whether to do the hackamore on before I put the head back on the horse. I think I'm going to have to do the neck and everything like that first. So I'm going to have to see if I can do that once I put the head back on the horse. But I'm going to get the ears now. I've got a photograph of a horse bucking similar to what I'm doing. And its ears are straight up. Sounds like it's trying to thunder and lightning outside. I'm going to use a little Ronsonol lighter fluid and I'm going to go over the face just to make sure that there's no rough areas. The Ronsonol melts the clay a little bit and uh, it's just a little finishing touch. I won't take care, care of everything. I'll have to go over some of it with a sculpting tool later, but uh, this will take care of the major parts of it. So I'll pick this up tomorrow. or No, I won't pick it up tomorrow. I'll be gone tomorrow. I don't come in on Friday anymore because it's... 
I just have too many things I have to do and I have to at least take one day a week to do the things I need to do that I put off all week. And uh, grocery shopping and all that kind of stuff. And I want to clean the studio a little bit. I got people coming by and I don't want to have them stepping over stuff that I've left on the floor. <laughs> All right, everybody, let me just take a look and see if it's going to look good on the horse. And I'll be right back. Okay. That's going to be the position of the horse's head right there. I think that's going to look good. Let me just try it on the other side. Oh, yeah, that's going to look good. That's going to look real good. All right. Whoop. Don't drop it down, Dave. Got to put it back in the little jig that I have here. Just so it doesn't fall over and get ruined. So like I said, I'll be picking this up next week, next Monday. And uh, we'll see how far I can get. All right, everybody. See you next week. Have a great weekend. And, uh, good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.